uh, elder brother dr alok kahli and uh, all the director of this Hello, can no, you hear me? Are you on? Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, we are hearing you. Now okay. I am requesting yes, sir. to formally inaugurate this meet. Okay. Give, give me a moment. Director, sir, would you please okay. formally inaugurate this meet? Okay, thank you. I welcome you all in this very important webinar. Where none other than very distinguished speaker, Dr. Kanchan Chaudhary, who is a professor of cryogenic engineering IIT Kharagpur, he will deliver on the important topic, possible outreach strategy for Dr. B. C. R. Engineering College, Durgapur, to implement National Education Policy 2020, with special emphasis on the R&D and consultancy part that it has implemented in. New uh, national education policy for projects conceptualization, formulation, and submission to funding agencies. This will be our main theme. Now you see that this national uh, education policy that uh, our central government has implemented. There will be a lot of changes in the education system in this country, and they have included many of the emerging areas, and they have conceptualized. Many ideas and thought-provoking ideas, and which will break the traditional way of teaching. So, at this juncture, we decided that we should listen to somebody who is an expert in this particular area. And we are very fortunate that Dr. Kanchan Chaudhary, on request of our head administration, Dr. Kahali, he has given his consent, and he will be our speaker here. During this period, I would request that please listen to his deliberations, and at the end of his deliberation, you can ask questions. Whatever be the questions in your mind, you can ask and note down the pertinent points that we have to do because this is a very important session, and I think that everybody should listen it very carefully because you see that the points and the deliberation that we it will be given today in this webinar. That will be implemented you in our future course of action. So, with these few words, I thank you all. I thank the patron, our respected general secretary, Mr. Torun Bhattacharji, the guest of honor, our honorable chairman of the board of governors, who happens to be the friend of Dr. Kanchan Chowdhury, Professor Binay K. Datta, and our advisory board. There are few of our faculty members in the advisory board. Dr. Chandan Kumar Ghosh, who is now the principal of our Polytechnic College as well, Professor Hoshen, then Dr. Kahali is there, Professor Patok is there, our registrar has also joined probably. So with all this, I welcome you all, and I hope that this will be a very uh, beautiful session and a very learning session for all of us. Thank you very much, and I think that it will be an excellent session. Please listen to Professor Dr. Kanchan Chaudhary. Thank you, sir. And at the same time, sir, I would request you that when this pandemic is over, you please physically visit our institute. It is a very beautiful institute. We have seven undergraduate streams and four master's streams, and we have nearly three thousand students in this engineering college. And all and uh, above, we have nearly five thousand students under the umbrella of BC RSC group of institutions. With these few words, I thank you all for joining this session. Over to Dr. Kali. Uh, Dr. Chaudhary, please. Dr. Chaudhary, I think your microphone is switched off. Dr. Chaudhary, Dr. Chaudhary, your microphone is switched off. Okay. Okay. Now, can you hear me? 
Yes, we can hear you now. Okay. Now I want to ask you that besides the faculty members of uh, Bishra Engineering College, what are the other uh, kinds of people are there supporting staff, and how many are there? Uh, actually, nearly one sixty-five party participating here. Out of which yes. we have actually total faculty in this engineering college nearly two hundred twenty-two, and. Uh, okay. We have nearly other uh, 50, 60 uh, supporting staff. So I think that this will touch around 200 today. They will be the uh, actually listener. Okay. Help. At the moment, at the moment, only faculty members are there. 162. It is showing. I think that it no, no. Be are they all faculty members? No, are no, they no. All? all faculty. Let me tell you that we have no, all no. technical staff also on this board. Okay. 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 Eighty to eighty-five percent are faculty members. Out okay. Of okay. Okay. Fine. Fine. So, um, actually, uh, a very good morning to everybody. I visited uh, Bisira Engineering College many years ago. Uh, it's not that I did not visit that. I was very impressed with a very neat and clean. And although the surface area is not very large. But it was very good. It was very impressive. It must have grown into some other. I remember that you had uh, engineering stream and also the management. Am I, if I am not mistaken? Yes, yes. We we have the man management also. FMS. Management, right? FMS. And now you have got the polytechnic under you. Am I right? Exactly. In okay. five streams, we have polytechnic, then pharmacy college. Then okay. advanced professional courses, BBA, BCA, hospital management, optometry, something like that. So oh, it is that's very good. Cool. And actually, that's we have cool. two campuses, one at Bihar hmm. which is around three to four or five kilometers from this campus. Okay. And okay. our main campus is at full year. Yes, we have sir. about 15 acres of land in total. Okay, sir. Thank you very much. Actually, uh, my dear um, uh, faculty members who are listening to this uh, deliberation, let me tell you that when Dr. Kali first told me that uh, why not I give you uh, some uh, you know ideas on how to do these outreach programs, particularly the project execution, project getting projects, and also the consultancies. So, and just around that time, Director IIT Kharagpur had told me to uh, you know to to get experience and to go through this uh, NEP. And uh, to give an idea that how IIT Kharagpur can implement or should implement this NEP 2020. As you know that uh, this education sector in India, according to the government, is going to go through a sea change. And this sea change is not only in the matter of changing the rules, but also the changing the total attitude that the way that we look at it, that's very important part. If you go through this NEP 2020 document, it's about 66 pages of document. And 66 pages of document tells you that what are the possibilities and what's their think, think thought process. Now, in this thought process, what is important here is that that government is now what they are, they have not yet started implementing it. But they are doing these, you know, webinars and discussions and trying to find out that how they should at all implement it step by step. That's the process. And they are actually making it almost mandatory for all of us to hold webinars at regular intervals and give a report to them. And that uh, report should contain our thought process. And this thought process and uh, Niti Aayog is very much in command. Niti Aayog is very much in command. There will be a lot of financial implementing this uh, anyway. Uh, therefore, what I told, because I had uh, gone somewhat, I, I do not claim myself to be an authority on NEP 2020. What I first did when directors said that you have to do, you have to give a webinar or you have to give some speech on this one. What I did, I just uh, copy and pasted 
the relevant documents which are applicable for higher educational institutions like IIT. That's what I copy and pasted. And I found there are 65 interventions that IIT has to do. 65. Not 1, not 2, not 5, not 10. 65, at least. And then I got a letter from minister and the minister said that NEP intervention as far as the government is concerned, that's about 183 or 185 kinds of interventions which will be there that government has to do. Now, now the point is that, that how we go about it and what should be one of the things that I can tell you that government is thinking, you know, that there will be a higher education commission and under this higher education commission there will be verticals and in those verticals this your NAC that uh, national accreditation and assessment council that's also will be one of the verticals so so there actually if you go through this document where outreach is a part of it for which Dr. Kahali initially asked me that outreach is only a part of it. But you know that if you want to do a part, you can never do actually any, any part in your life. That's not possible. If you have to do, you have to do either whole or actually none of it. What I mean by that is, suppose you say that you will be doing a study well and you will have to get up in the early morning to do your studies. Okay, everybody knows that in the morning that your concentration is at a better state. But when you get up in the early morning, then your health will be okay. Your hunger will be okay. Your digestion will be okay. Your concentration will be okay. Your progress will be okay. So if you are okay, you are okay in everything. If you are not okay, you are okay in none of the things. So that's very important to understand that you have the capability to do all of it and in fact all of it never say that we will do part of it because if you can do you will do all of it simultaneously and that is going to be my actually I will be uh, slowly trying to move to laptop because uh, my laptop has <laughs> trying to because technically these uh, Google and laptops, they can be tray any time. Okay, it's opening. So once I go to the laptop, then I'll switch off my mobile. Then I'll be more comfortable. So uh, what I wanted to say is that, that suppose uh, initially that when I was told that you have to do a project. Okay, outreach program has got at least three or four, uh, you know, interventions. One, that you will do projects. Two, you will do consultancy. Three, you will be doing uh, speeches or lectures to the industry to solve their problems. Four, it might be that the industry professionals will come to you and learn about it and, uh, you know, that you will be teaching them about... Um, just let me join you. Hello. Um, Is running through the laptop now. Mm. Is joining. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, so when you are when you have to do this uh, projects and then the consultancy and etc. So each one, of course. So each one of course yeah make yourself please yeah now now is it okay yes sir now can you yes sir yes sir yes dr chaudhary we are here am i audible yeah you are okay good okay fine now I'm on the laptop, so it's a little more comfortable. Uh, okay, good. So now what happens that I will first come to this project. 
So uh, you have called me. I have done extensive uh, intervention with uh, external agencies like the industry, even Durgapur uh, Steel Plant. I have got very good, uh, you know, uh, interactions uh, in the past. So what I have done is I have done consultancy and I have done the uh, training programs for their engineers from the level of DGM down to the junior engineers. Okay, so, and you know that the faculty members who are there, your institute has to contribute in many, many fields in order to serve the society. So basically what you have to understand is that they are, you have to do teaching, then you have to do book writing, you have to publish papers, you have to do projects, you have to do consultancy, you have to do industry training programs, you have to do, you know, the foreign collaborations. But the important thing is that everybody need not do everything that you must remember. Now, what I mean to say by this is that everybody has a trait. You have to go and the administration has to discover the traits in each and every person of this institute. And that person could be a technical staff and also the, you know, the faculty members or anybody. When I was reading this NEP, the NEP basically attempts to flourish all the qualities that you have within you. That's what is very important that everybody has got a trait and that trait has to be flourished to the fullest extent whoever it is and you see that every person has got a, an aspiration in life i want to become that and i want to do that so individual aspiration institutional aspiration and national aspiration has to be brought into one line and that is the primary responsibility of the administration. What happens basically that, suppose I'm in the administration, I catch a fellow and I say, oh, you are not doing uh, you know, research and you don't have any papers. But it could be that that fellow is not good in papers, but he may be a very good book writer. It could be that he can do some industrial consultancy well, but he cannot write papers. So what we should try to do from the side of the administration that we should help him to write a paper if possible, maybe that he is not able to do right. You know that when you do anything, it requires some kind of a training, some kind of a practice. Like uh, somebody will be writing a book. How will he write a book? How will be the planning and etc. So all these things matter when you will be teaching. So every topic where a faculty member can contribute, whether it is a teaching. So in teaching, you need pedagogy. And pedagogical abilities have to be improved because in NEP government is very much emphasizing on learning outcomes. That means when you teach a student, what you are expecting the student to be, how will he contribute to the wealth creation of the nation? You have to be very convinced about it. That means we all have to change in the way that we teach. What do you mean by that? The, what I mean to say is that so far we have been teaching whatever we have been teaching. There is a book, we have an understanding, and we are delivering it. But probably, you know, that we have to change. We have to change in the way of teaching also. I will give you an example by saying that. For example, that you are teaching a particular subject. You have to think now, if that subject is taught to a student, will the student be able to convert it into doing something after he passes out? Will he be able to do a startup? Will it help him to do something? Suppose you are teaching somebody electronics. And suppose you want to, Bisira Engineering College wants to do some research of 
building toys, toy, 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 Kelna. These toys actually is a very big multi-billion dollar business in the world. How will you make toys? So in order to make toys, maybe that you need some plastic, you need some plastic molding, you need some electronics. So with this knowledge of electronics that you are teaching, will that boy be able to convert his knowledge into implementing in a toy and make the toy walk, make the toy talk. So that's the way that you have to make it totally, that you have to be, you have to learn right at the end of the subject that I teach this subject. And after learning to this subject, a student will be able to do this, 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 this. Government is also contemplating that when we take a student, and the, we have to train him in such a manner, a group of students may be able to start a startups. So it is not necessary that the teachers have to be the fountainhead of all the ideas of doing that. It's not necessary. The students also should be encouraged to come up with the ideas and with the teachers will be helping them into realization of their ideas will be just a mentor. So what I'm trying to say is that, that we have to totally become, it's like, you know, that we are, we are thinking that so far the teachers are saying, yeah, we are thinking that we know something, we go to the class, we teach and come back. No, that's not, that's not something that is helping the nation because we are not making them, and you probably know the statistics that government has come up or then it is in the newspapers that we are producing so many lakhs of engineers, but according to the IT industry or everything, even 90% of them or 70%, 80%, a large percentage are not employable. It's not employable. They are not worthy of the industry. It is not because of the teachers alone, it is also because of the attitude of the students. Because the students are thinking that obtaining a degree is the end all and be all, and they focus on the degree only. They are not focusing on the knowledge. So that has to change. I mean, that they have to be motivated into learning. And, and then what I'm trying to say is that, imagine that you, have, you are teaching a subject now, that subject may be, uh, say, electrical control, control of a motor. Now, the induction motor control by some mechanism, this control, you know, will be, will be, can control the large induction motors. Now, when you are teaching that, you have to find out, a teacher has to find out which are the industries where these electrical controls are done. He has to go over there. He has to see that how they are doing the controls and what is the modern controls, how they are actually doing it. And now can we find out that what they are doing may not be the best way to do? You see that, how do we contribute? And here comes the way we can do consultancy. I, 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 do, not, I do not have any, although I am a, a training, by training I'm a mechanical engineer, and I have uh, read somewhat of, you know, basic electronics and uh, electrical technology to some metallurgy and etc. But I'm not expert in that. But I will tell you from my experience that what I did when I wanted to do industry interactions. What I first thought that I am a mechanical engineer and who were trained, uh, you know, by research to do deep low temperature refrigeration. So when I did deep low temperature refrigeration, I did a produced a PhD thesis. I went abroad, and then I then I wanted to do industry interactions. Now the industry interactions you have to find that what are the sectors you are building up knowledge. I found out I build up a I can build up a knowledge or I already have a basic knowledge in heat exchanger one, refrigeration system two. Cryogenic system, which is the deep low temperature, three. Good. Now what happens that where cryogenic temperature is used in the industry? Then I found that there are two kinds of cryogenic engineering. 
one used by the government sector, like Bhabha Atomic Research Center, ISRO, and etc. Space Research, which is a small cryogenics, you can tell. And there is a big cryogenics, which is used by big steel plants, air separation plants in oxygen making, and so on. So then, what I did that how can I learn the techniques of cryogenic air separation, which are used by the steel plants? Now I tell you why I wanted to do that. First of all, you see that each and every person wants to grow. Now this growth are of two kinds: growth in terms of knowledge, and also growth in terms of money. Your family. Always, you can you want to always earn more what you are earning from the uh, from your salary? Why not? Why can't you sell your knowledge whoever you are? If you are a faculty or if you are a non-faculty, now that's a personal aspiration, not only to grow in knowledge but also grow in finance. Why not? Institute has to see, or the, your university or the college has to see how they can derive. Benefit out of your aspiration. That means institutional aspiration and your personal aspiration has to come online. What IIT does, IIT says, or any college should say, that me, Kanchan Choudhury, is going to the industry as a professor of IIT. So the tag of IIT Kharagpur is there. So give a tax for that. Give a tax for that. Twenty percent, okay. So what happens? The institute makes money. So suppose you lecture somewhere. Lecture as what, Mr. So and So, you know, Suman Karmakar is uh, lecturing as uh, professor of Visira Engineering College. So I'm not an individual. I'm a professor of some college, and for that brand name that the college gives you. And the infrastructure and the podium and the platform that the institute gives you, institute takes a cut, say twenty percent. Good. Suppose you get a project, and you want to execute the project. I have uh, recently, when I lectured, I I uh, proposed to IIT to make the rules simple. The rules are that that suppose. You get a project. You execute it through your institute. So there will be some uh, administrative and all these people will be involved. So institute has to take an overhead. Now that overhead could be twenty percent. Now many uh, sponsoring agencies give twenty percent of overhead, but some do not give. For those who do not give, and a big big uh, you know the sponsors, we society sometimes says "tika ten percent bhi chalega." Even for HRD ministry projects, we get no overhead, but we take it as it's a gift to us to do research. But for some, we get twenty percent. So IIT takes an overhead to administer. Out of that, you know, there are some projects where there will be a top up. Top up means for doing the sponsored research project, a faculty can get an extra money. So that money, whatever goes into the pocket. The pocket of this faculty member, institute should get a cut, twenty percent. So when you earn a hundred rupees, suppose you you do a project. So out of that project, if you get that project, so for the execution part of it, you give twenty percent to this this one, and only for your part, only for faculty's part or the supporting staff. You, you know that there could be a very good supporting stuff you have good in electronics good in refrigeration why not they should also contribute this is also my idea that they, there should not be it should not be like you know that for any organization to grow everybody has to participate everybody teaching non teaching you know everybody brings glory and everybody can contribute okay non teaching stuff Do not supporting stuff may not be teaching in the class because their vocabulary, their way of uh, you know delivery is not that. But they will be very good in the laboratories. They can also teach in other ways, and they can also earn outside. But you must have a very clear policy of how you will be taxing because the faculty members should be able to earn extra. Now this should be a target also all the time. 
uh, you know that uh, it's not only the knowledge like suppose you write a book how the book sells and you know that you can get always some money out of it if you if i am uh, i have proposed that uh, if you if i am lecturing somewhere and if i am getting money why not iit also or your organization should get some cut out of it so that way the institute earns money and also the faculty member should earn money so what i'm saying is that when you do a good job good job means what your subject teaching is oriented towards useful thing for the uh, you know society for wealth creation then people who will be listening to that will be willing to pay you now there is a no hard and fast rule how do you do consultancy the consultancy works that you should do in the industry you have to build up a liaison you have to build up a relationship they should realize that you are a knowledgeable person who is in a knowledge position in order to solve their problems so then i found that when i have to do that in the industry there is no book on cryogenic air separation written so what i did i went to the industry side i used to write letters to the managing director of durgapur steel plant managing director of raurkela steel plant can you can you give me some accommodation and some facility to visit your place and see the uh, how it runs air separation so i want to learn about it and i visited bokaro vilai raurkela durgapur you know all these places i have and slowly from not only from the engineers but also from the mechanics from the technicians i have i have started learning about it and that's how the knowledge grew and when the knowledge grew then you see that integral approach how it should be then when i came back to they had certain problems of identify the problem give that problem to the to the mtech and btech students give that problem formulate a phd problem out of it and that's how the knowledge grows so your btech project your all these you know uh, mtech project your phd project your sponsored research project your consultancy project your teaching everybody should be everything could be in one line they are not necessarily different that should be according to me that should be the approach and it is possible and when that has to be made possible but it cannot be made in a day what do you mean by in a day yet one has to be very humble enough in order to make a start and you know the basis of knowledge is what basis of knowledge is humility basis of knowledge is to have shraddha respect and the faith one has to forsake his ahankar or the ego in order to learn because you see that there is a word called understanding you know the meaning of the word understanding means you have to stand under unless you stand under somebody the knowledge will not go into your head there is another word in sanskrit or bengali upodesh when you get an upodesh you know what upodesh means upo means junior like upadhyaksh upo upo means the deputy so upodesh means the position so when you position yourself lower you get upodesh and it becomes effective for you so for any learning we have to be extremely humble and humility is the key word normally what happens in life we are always busy hiding our ignorance i don't want to expose my ignorance to the students i don't want to expose my ignorance to them because i have got an ego that people will laugh at me but if you accept this laugh if you accept this you know uh, kind of people will be telling ah that fellow doesn't know one day you will grow you'll grow so big that people will be looking at you in amazement is that that same guy who is to do he is successful there he is successful in book writing he is successful as a teacher so that's what happens when you start from lower positions you can go to any heights so the main problem for us is uh, you know what i always tell people nowadays to my students not only to every, every even my younger faculties that it is very important for us to tell i don't know 
it is very important for us to tell that I want to know. Would you teach me? So, and uh, about the projects, I can tell you that there was a time that we used to write projects to Department of Science and Technology and uh, CSIR and etc. But slowly, the things are growing. The growing means you can always apply to many other sponsoring agencies. Those sponsoring agencies are different ministries and they are arms. Like you know that in petroleum ministry, suppose the Gale, uh, then uh, you know that IOC and all these people give projects. But you have to always go to their website and then find out that what they are willing to give and what is their problem and you have to orient yourself to their needs and remember one thing that there is nothing called they do not want to they are by you have to only try and try and try and try there is no shortcut to success and uh, like you know that success and fail there is nothing called success and there is nothing called failure in life uh, somebody said that if you fall seven times and you get up eight times, it means success. If you fall seven times and get up six times, it means failure. That's the definition of success and failure. There is no other definition of there is nothing called success and failure. As many times you fall down, you have to get up and start from doing it again. So I... <coughs> So my, uh, you know, as a professor of IIT Kharagpur, uh, I have I have told you about my experience, and but one thing I want to tell you is that you have to be ready to change, change every moment, change every day, change every year, reinvent yourself. You see that uh, and face the oppositions, and somebody said that. Oh, there has been a pandemic and etc. The question is that the pandemic has given us so much of challenge that this challenge has actually gave a lot of us a different way of looking at life. It has taught us many things. You know, you have also taught virtually and you have taught online. A lot of us, you know, many of us did not know how to do it. We have evolved. We have evolved. And when we have evolved, that's a strength. And that strength has to be harnessed. We have to be become better than that, better and better. Like, you know, it's a, it's a challenge for everything. For example, these uh, experimental ones, experiments in the laboratory. Can we, yes, experiments doing by hand is always great. But how can we do it virtually? Can we do that better so that it is better communicated? And if you can do that, that's also some learning. Uh, you know, that's a great thing that, like, you know, that when people do learn about flying, there is a flying simulator. They actually don't fly, but they are <coughs> in, a, in a laboratory where all the simulator, it is simulated. When you, the, sometimes the running of a plant, they are simulated. So that we have to also do, we have to reinvent ourselves in different and different fields. Another thing is multidisciplinary. You know that wherever you want to go and solve a problem, you will find that there are many disciplines which are required to come together. One discipline is not good enough. In fact, uh, multidisciplinary is the ethos of the day. It's another matter that India uh, in the undergraduate level has not graduated that they are not specialized. But what happens, you know, that what I'm uh, also trying to give ideas to IIT Kharagpur is that every person should have a teaching, uh, you know, intervention, what he can teach and what he can do research. You can be a, a research member to many groups where multidisciplinary things and give your ideas and go and contribute. So you have to form different groups to handle different startups, to handle different projects, to handle different consultancies, maybe that you can come together. 
but the problem of coming together you know in our country i don't know what i have found is that the credit sharing that how much i have done and how much he has done and how much uh, you know we will be sharing the credit if you look at the chinese papers in the journal you will find that no journal no paper in the chinese journal sir less than 5 to 6 authors they have forced they have forced them to come together and do it together and that's how china has come up and the name of the departments now we have got mechanical we have got chemical we have got electrical we have got electronics the same way but china probably is not uh, is not doing that they are finding out things like that you know the the department of key technologies the department of relevant they are giving them funny names and doing whatever is required to be done for the advancement of the nation and whatever sells they are doing that name it anything teach you see that everybody has got knowledge that knowledge may have a different name so you have to find out basically finally how you are contributing to the wealth creation uh, remember that we are always secondary producers secondary producer means we produce somebody who in turn produces we make engineers that engineers are going to the industry and produce so we are secondary producers so we will be inspiring the students to do a startup so but uh, teachers also you know iit is also recently has given is going or making a good rules for startups that means a teacher also can be involved in a startup as uh, you know how much percentage and etc they should have in the startup companies and how the students and the teacher can come together to do a startup i feel that uh, and if you are studying nep you will find that this bcri engineering college has to aspire to become a university in a very within a very short time and that university has to have and they are insisting that you have to have the department of english philosophy psychology and uh, you know the where the soft skills are there even including music and uh, dancing and uh, all these soft skills uh, because you know at the end of the day everything sells uh, for example that uh, if you have if you are a, if you have a good uh, professor in english that professor of english not only can teach others good english and people should go and learn because after all that we have to Uh, express in english uh, to write a good paper to write a good book uh, english is required philosophy is required to make our philosophy of life well so all these things are very important and if you go through the nep i feel that an institute of the zeal and the dash and the inspiration like bcri engineering college has all the elements to elevate yourself to the level of a university you know within a very short time and for that you have to make plannings and i think that government of india will be coming and you know no matter that uh, you have an nit uh, near you just don't worry it's not that the tag of nit which is finally going to win it is your zeal bcri engineering college you have to think that is no less you can beat anybody and everybody hollow because you you know that's the story of the hare and the tortoise because somebody who thinks that we are under the even iit you know or for nit because uh, we can always uh, you can always win uh, you can always become much better than even nit and become the regional hub and you are in a very vantage position durgapur asansol area is fully not only in industry you can contribute in many fields even in mining sectors uh, you know so i will be uh, not be extending my talk very much dr kahli i would be requesting that people may come with uh, specific questions and with my limited knowledge i'll be trying to answer them
professor also <laughs> uh, questions to you it is not a question yes please okay uh, actually what is happening what is happening i have not understood we have worked a lot of projects as well as in india and abroad what is happening main hurdle when the main hurdle i have been facing yes because i am here for the last 3 years the main hurdle is that because you see that whenever you approach some industry what is happening we have also tried and we have been trying as well they think actually they want three things number one is the credibility as an individual or as a group number two they find the infrastructure and number three that is most pertinent which is the regulatory requirement okay now the regulatory so far the regulatory requirement is concerned then they will always prefer a government organization than a private organization this is the number one because most of the studies in india whether it is uh, in the sponsored project it is consultancy project or it is sn project majority of them are due to the regulatory requirements so it becomes very difficult in a competitive market to get into the market unless and until individually or group wise you have made your identity or branding this is number 1 so i want a brief answer for that one number uh, this is my first question number 2 is that because you see that our uh, the faculty members they are majority of them are young just recently conducted their uh, did their phd's as well so i want some tips to these faculty members that how to actually the conceptualize the problem because they were telling that that it becomes difficult for us to conceptualize because majority of them have not yet seen any industry as well yes yeah, yeah. but of them they have not they have done their phd yeah. in power sector also and major, and i asked many of the faculty they even they did not visit any power plant yeah. so unless and until you visit the industry then it becomes very difficult for you to yeah. identify yeah. this is my question number 3 is that because you see that this is a very competitive market in this competitive market we have searched out one company then the design as well so far the theoretical knowledge is concerned it is quite okay because i read this institute very high for the knowledge is concerned our infrastructure is not very bad and is also not very good but it is not bad as well so what is happening if we can collaborate some organization like iit kharagpur or bichohar or uh, besu then it will be easier for us to get a project and after getting the project if we do very well then we can put one brand aim of this college then only yeah. we will this is the thing this is the ambitions to you i want your expert comments on this one all day thank you yes so you asked me three uh, questions the first question if i remember that whenever you are going to the industry they are looking for your credentials now how to build this credential actually this credential there is no shortcut to this credential this credential uh, builds up uh, drop by drop so initially you might think that iit kharagpur for example that oh there is a big hello and branding and is already there but here are also people that who are not that successful and there are also people in iit kharagpur who are successful why it happens is that that in order to build an institution that you have to do all the all the steps to do it for example that the rules for example the one of the very big things about the rules uh, there has to be transparency of rules the transparency of rules is not exactly about the promotional uh, avenues per se but also when somebody some faculty member does something or so there has to be very transparent rules do this and do that if you do this and there has to be some faceless application of the rules i asked my director i asked that day in hod meeting that why 
such files should land up at, at your desk at all which keeps you busy till 10 o'clock or 10:30 in the night why it should happen why you cannot go back at 6:30 in the evening to your house to your family back the reason is that you are not applying the rule facelessly you are intervening and scrutinizing the rules that ought to have been applied facelessly so you have to first give freedom to the faculty to express all their energy and the will so that they are saying that theek hai if i fail institute is there with me so i gave two models to 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 the director is that the when the, from the inst institute uh, administration has the biggest responsibility to do first that you take a model of the of the nature and the and god he has created this earth is this world but he has made rules the sun should uh, you know rise at this time and set at this time there should be things so you should make it rules which are transparent number one number two is that the role of a father in a family is not to tell the son that become engineer and doctor the role of the father should be to tell the son and the daughter that flourish your all your capabilities so that you can become a worthy citizen of this country and i am there with you to all, to all the help if you fall down extend your hand and say don't worry my son i am there with you so that should be the attitude of these uh, authorities and the administration so administration has the biggest role here because you are the karta and all the you know faculty members and everybody else is karan karan has to be given clear things that if you you do this and express yourself properly you remember and another thing that i said that you see that everybody is made differently somebody is an eagle who can fly high somebody is a crow who can always clean things up somebody is a you know kaku who can sing very well so everybody has got the traits that has to be harnessed individually you have to give individual attention to the people and tell people you know that why don't you do this for example you will see suppose somebody is a mechanical engineering professor but he knows very good instrumentation you don't know because he is lecturing on mechanical subjects and all but his capability of instrumentation and automatic collection of the data and its interpretation is unknown people are not harnessing his potential his potential has to be discovered but coming back to your first point that people say that who are you and what's your credential that has to be done slowly and step by step because of branding some people think that it is by advertisement and always telling we have done this and that it is not that whenever somebody writes a mail or tells institute you have to say we have done this 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 our institute has so one of the ways of course is to write a brochure that what kind of projects we have done how institute is supporting that fellow and if an industry gives a project to the industry to the uh, you know faculty member then institute takes the responsibility for its execution and in fact they will they should because if that sometimes in even in iit also i find that it happens that the faculty member takes a project and they cannot execute it properly it gives a bad name just just you said that it is a branding so there is a negative branding also sometimes because of the failure people have to express themselves that i am not able to do it so that other faculty members come together and make it a success you know that there i i do not want to tell you the exact occasions it is in my knowledge that even reputed organizations have come to iit and iit faculty member has failed to deliver has failed to deliver as simple as that they were not they are saying that simply we are not satisfied but sometimes they they also wrote letters and etc etc it's not that everything is a success so there are failures so you have to limit the failures and always tell these are the things that and branding is always not a one day affair you have to make a start and do it and then you said that they always want to go to a government organizations it's it's true and it is also not true government organizations are known 
that they have got a better faculty or better people there that's what the ideas are there because no, of the no, security like of the job not like that it is not because the question of the better faculty it is the branding as well as the government actually they want the regulatory requirements what do you mean by the regulatory requirement things challenge you not a single project they will give to the private organization i can i i i can i can make 100% challenge to you because they want because the unless and until the director general of mine safety gives a green signal no mm. project can be sanctioned and they will only go to the central mining research institute or central fuel research institute for any mining industry mm. so we will only get the project to me mm. our credibility either individually or group we can enhance mm. in our mm. knowledge and so individually one stands mm. that he is the person who can solve this problem yes. unless and until one can do it then no, as 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 you rightly said that uh, nep 2020 tells the higher educational institutions like iits that you have to take as soon as i got your mail i talked to the director also that sir this we have to take some of the smaller engineering colleges under our umbrella those engineering colleges each one of them will be taking some diploma colleges under their umbrella those diploma colleges will be taking some itis under their umbrella and that is the concept of nep and that is where that i i said that durgapur engineering college is very smart and i have got relation with them but we have to find out that which are the colleges whom iit kharagpur wants to take it under their umbrella and this is the concept of nep also that you are right director sir that this is a problem because this is a problem of our mindset but the point is that we have to overcome that the main point is that yes there is a problem and you think that how to overcome that so you tell some of the you know iit professors please come together and etc so whichever the field you want you contact them and then you tell them why not we jointly project so, you do sir, whatever honestly speaking i have been in touch with professor suman chakraborty you must be knowing uh, because yes, i the mri uh, research council as well professor bhattacharya is there in the civil engineering department then i have mm -hmm. lot of friends in the mining department ashish you know ashish bhattacharya joined the bhattacharya yes, yes. I, i i made them regular interactions but what is happening fruits are not bearing because the trees are not bearing fruits actually so <laughs> as uh, because this is my personal and humble who opinion. is this bhattacharya who is this bhattacharya uh, he uh, he was the acting director also in the civil engineering department oh, oh, so, oh, shiman shiman bhattacharya shiman bhattacharya he, he is no more he has gone on leon to south yeah, he was the director of road research institute also along with oh, us uh, now he is with uh, another university in the south he has gone to chennai uh, that so shiv nagar university so making, what, you see that, push that push no, i will i will tell you that where so you uh, where no uh, on this count i have a comment sir please let me tell you you have you have mentioned three persons one is suman another is shriman and another is ashish three persons mm. and all these three persons are very senior fellows right right and what is the problem with these senior fellows they are, they often lack academic motivation ayana yes yes you have to you have to catch the relatively smaller fries see the point is that you have to you are always going to the person suman is busy in 10 or 10 things actually i have few students also because in the mining engineering department koshik they they are then samanto they are all my students as well hmm. Hmm. so i approach them but uh, uh, the trees are not bearing fruit that i have been always telling so if you can help us in this manner we can no, have no, 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 no. as as well. and if you like to uh, to iit kharagpur because professor uh, yeah, binay ke dat is the bog chairman of our institute at present so mm -hmm. if you right. can right. can approach to some of the department because because you see that what i have been seeing this institute has a theoretical knowledge so far is concerned infrastructure it is very good absolutely very good our majority of the faculties are from nits and uh, sipur b college jadavpur university so quality wise they are good they are not exposed to the industry that is the only drawback of this institute
so we have been trying hard it is not that we are we are not trying we have been trying i want your help in this particular manner as the uh, oil researcher of this college this is my humble request to you no know, actually the main thing is that the the point is that that there is you have been trying but you have your you know that your trial is not good enough to be a success the, that's what i am telling you have to try and try and try and try for example that you are not able to you want to catch somebody you have to target mining department because you want to interact with some mining industry you want to catch somebody mining from the you have to go to the website for example are not only iit for any whether ism or iit or any place go to the website identify the kam kadmi because in any organization 100% are not kam kadmi so there would be 30 40% so identify them and target them persistently until they say yes and you know that when i started and industry interactions it is never an easy task who will give you the entry who will allow you to who will be telling you what the knowledge is and you know that on saturdays and sundays i wanted to learn about the cold storage so there are many potato cold storages in district of mitapur nearby where it is located every saturday and sunday i'll be going out of my house and then go to some cold store the cold store you know i will just enter i will tell the mechanic will you open it will you tell me how it works and what is the size i want to enter there my wife always used to tell me that what are you doing every saturday and sunday are you getting any money then i say no i am i am investing for the future i am investing for the future so oh, how many years will you invest when will that bear fruit but the you see that the life is to try and try and try and try you know and there is there is nothing else and don't worry and you have to inspire people and actually uh, dr kali my elder brother you know that Uh, i have seen him from my childhood he one always wanted to gain degrees you always wanted to gain you know new degrees and new <laughs> knowledge and all that has always been my inspiration for me so even you know that he achieved some doctorate degree you know at this age and i am always inspired and uh, you know sometimes i think that i will retire from iit and learn japanese or learn chinese and why not you know do something absolutely different so you have to tell people that we are always with you try okay. and try but different ways what i'm saying been, sir one, been, no before been. i end i will tell you one thing to tell you that in chemical engineering there is something called there is an input there is a process there is an output you know so the input means that there are some people who are trying in a particular ways and you have got certain input there is a process if you give the same input the same process the output will be the same if you are not succeeding in one way you have to try it in a little different way Ex -ex example i i will give you you are not succeeding in getting somebody in mining department why don't you write a mail to letter to the head of the department we are from this college and we are uh, trying to get somebody in this this field in your college these people are very good why don't you uh, please give us a connection and do it he doesn't respond don't worry write a mail to the director sir this my your mining department is so great and we are trying to collaborate why don't so he marks it to the head that fellow marks it calls a faculty meeting and that bisira engineering college wants somebody why don't you do it so finally you will succeed try it in different ways lekin isme kya hai i do actually sir uh, there is nothing called not being successful just you have to do it and do it in different ways write a mail to the head write a mail to the director i am giving a small example i am giving a small example so that you can understand better the present situation two of the faculty members from the civil engineering department i sent with a proposal after talking to the professor uh, so that they can collaborate it. and they return back with empty handed they told that said they have taken our proposal and they will ask that we will submit this proposal then why we will take you and they have taken our ideas so these are the things there are some practical issues also
but we have been trying and i am very hopeful that we will break the ice very soon that is also yes, sure 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 and and actually i will inspire you sir that to make a small committee of nep implementation committee in your college Okay. Already they are. Already they are. We have been trying. Yeah. If it is there, now, 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 now the if it is there, then what you should do, I will tell you. Everything you do, everything, sir. This is very important. That everything you do, everything you write, everything you think, at the end there should be a line. This is in coherence with the implementation of NEP 2020 as envisaged by the Department of Ministry of Education. Write that. So, if okay. you write, suppose you write a mail to the director, sir, okay. we have studied this NEP, and your HEI is going to adopt some colleges as the mentors. We want to offer ourselves as the, you know, as okay. one of the colleges who should be the mentor, sir. Whenever you consider this one, and we are sure you will be considering today or tomorrow. Why not? Please remember that our college should be a part of this. Your under your mentorship. Suppose okay. you write. A good so, suggestion. We'll so, do these it. Are the, so these are the proactive things you have to do. Whenever you do or write anything, write at the end. This is in accordance to the NEP 2020. So you you always can do such things. And whenever you come under the umbrella of IIT Kharagpur, so IIT Kharagpur will have the moral responsibility to supply you. It will be the bounden because when you do collaborate with IIT Kharagpur, you will claim that. You are taking mentorship, and when IIT Kharagpur two civil professors collaborates with you, they can claim that they are giving mentorship. So both sides have to claim they are giving mentorship, and you are taking mentorship. So it is the implementation of NEP 2020, and why will not they do it? They have to do it today or tomorrow. So okay. IIT Kharagpur cannot just remain silent. That two professors have come. We will say we will do it. Why should you do? You got to do it, man. No, no, no. You we are not the person to keep uh, silent. Actually, <laughs> it is not like that. Uh, we are. We are. I am. I am basically not the person to keep yeah. silent because I, yeah. I. I will try and I will make it actually happen. So uh, what I am. What I am suggesting to you now. Yes. You have got a like Simon Bhagwan Gita. You have got NEP 2020. Whatever yes. you do. You just say this is accordance to the NEP 2020 page. This clause, this. Bol ke. This is a good thing. We implement this one. We will write to the director. No, of you tell that committee that and your committee. It will be also the sir. I will suggest to you another thing, that that committee will have the job to take all your activities into their fold, and say that. This job has been done according to NEP 2020, cross this, take yes. this, and and prepare a monthly report from now on, because the time will come when ministry will be asking from you monthly report on NEP implementation. You must start gearing up that. Yes. Whatever you do, you send somebody to industry. You log it. You say that fellow went to industry, interacted with that that fellows. And then this is as as part of the NEP implementation because that faculty member wanted to interact with the industry and orient his course and etc. You call somebody who is in the relevant fields of the near neighboring industry into your colleges who will be interacting and suggesting how to change the uh, syllabus of your subject. Note it down. Write it in your report. And make it a monthly report of NEP implementation, so that any time government notice comes to you, you will not be taken aback. Otherwise, you will be taken, and then you will be doing firefighting. Recent times, recent times, we have mm -hmm. been supposed to work together with uh, NHP, National Highway National Highway Authority of India, NHP. Right. Right. And they are actually taking our students, and they will be providing some funds as well. So we have signed one MOU with. National Highway Authority of India. So, okay. like that, just approaching, and hopefully mm -hmm. we will be much more uh, as per your suggestions. And I will be writing very soon to your. No, actually, what I am saying now, you have got only one job. I, I am telling you one job that is to implement NEP 2020. Mm -hmm. Because that if is. you implement NEP 2020, your your students are well placed. 
your foreign interactions are okay your industry interaction is okay everything everything will be okay so whatever you do and suppose somebody does it some faculty member says sir i will be going there which clause of nep you are going to implement by going there you ask him so i have suggested to the director that anybody makes an application at the end of the application he will write does anything purchases anything how he is going to implement nep 2020 by doing this okay yeah. so everybody becomes aware that by small actions of his which he was ordinarily doing actually unknown to him he is implementing nep 2020 then it will does it better and also your nep implementation committee report and etc they will be collecting that and included in the report this is what it is you will just not be doing it you will be implementing nep 2020 in every action make it a vow and make it a make it a rule so then you are done because that's what the government wants yes sir and i i i just took first question but any other questions that i forgot yes, sir i think that you have answered my questions thank you very much and we will take your help don't forget sir i will be after you <laughs> nay no, actually i don't know how much successful i will be because the motto of my life is that to try and try and try because i don't know what is called success and i i i don't i don't know the definition of success or definition of failure because you know that whenever you are doing in the right you are going in the right path you are certain to reach your destination so only yes. you have to make sure your path is right because it is only today or tomorrow that's all yes thank you <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> Uh, Dr. Chaudhary, can I ask you a question, please? Yes, please. Dr. Chaudhary, you have given us a lot of inputs as to how we should proceed. We will go according to the, your uh, your directives to the industries and our faculty members who will be also interacting with the industry, other institutions, etc., etc. and if necessary we will get back to you to find out whether we are on the right track is this okay with you no uh, uh, yeah it is okay but uh, you see that you have to normally we have a uh, our india uh, has a problem the problem is that particularly the engineering colleges we work on an intellectual plane we are intellectuals right and uh, sometimes you have got ncc nss and etc etc which work on the and sports football cricket they are on the physical plane we understand physical things and intellectual things well but we don't understand two other things which are very important which is called mental and spiritual and now another point is that the nep 2020 has told us to give importance on these aspects as well why it is important you know that mind management is a very important concept and mind management has got two aspects one to look within two to look outside that means the look out looking outside means how you behave with the how you view the world because you will see that many people will be telling our you know that this is not good our institute is good and etc this is happening government regulation and etc the main point is that it is not important in the world to see what the world is doing to me what is important to see that what i am doing so that's called the mindset that is the attitude and another thing is the looking within that why should i ask for something that this should happen or that should happen i must continue to do my work and the world is watching me and the world will be giving me what deserve can you maintain that kind of mindset that simad bhagwat ji that is so you have to also this is called the soft skill and this soft skill you have to think over and appoint somebody and develop 
or even other faculty members who have got interest in this uh you know can develop some courses in fact in iit kharagpur director has asked me already to float two subjects to the undergraduate students developing the right mindset number one and looking within understanding oneself that day you know mr modi our prime minister has given a speech during the convocation he has told three important things that we have to remember one is called atmogyan two is atmobiswas that is the self reliance and the three is that uh, you know becoming selfless or i can translate it to be atmonivedan so he has said that once you have these three things you have everything but the point is that we have always forgotten because we have been trained in the way western countries wanted us to get trained we have forgotten the you know the the traditions and the culture of the heritage of india so you have to develop these three things and what is atmogyan and atmogyan means that basically we are not the body we are the soul this is the basis of atmogyan atmobiswas people say that i have to have the confidence in me it is not imp that important what is important here is to to have the complete faith in god is called atmobiswas and atmonivedan means that this body has been nurtured from my childhood by the country by giving me food water and shelter so this body is for my country so this kind of attitude has to be given to the students and the teachers as a training and practice it may appear to be also today when i am telling it that it is too hypothetical but i tell you dr kaali the day will come when ministry will be asking from you whether you have such courses and what you are going to do to implement such courses this is not far you have to do it because we are afflicted mostly because the confusion of our mind we don't know how to look at ourselves how to look at my actions so we think that we do research we do teaching and we cultivate our intelligence and that's all that's not all so you please mind my words that we have to do something which relates to spirituality and mind management these two things are also important i am developing two courses myself and i don't know how much i will be ending up but it could be uh, you know maybe one credit or two credit or three credit each of these two courses one looking within and looking outside and i am supposed to float it and pass it to the senate within a month and then offer it to the undergraduate students but uh, you know that we have got this will be totally atheistic atheistic means the basis will be trust in god you see that some of our friends are i know that they are atheists also the people who do not have any trust in god but i will tell you that in this question that india doesn't have in our constitution anything related to god but america has united states constitution says that in god we trust but we don't have that because we are very secular but the day will come then you have to delve deeper into the subject of mind management and also spirituality to a great extent and get ready for that and those who do not believe uh, in kind of you know spirituality and etc they have to just listen and uh, any day they feel they will be adopting it but for many others maybe it will be helpful and that's what the government will put start doing it very soon and iit kharagpur that instructed me to do it so this is just for your information one more question professor hmm. 
Dr. Chaudhary, one more question. Yes, yes please. Well, the NEP 2020 stipulates by 2025 colleges mm -hmm. will be autonomous. Yes. Wow. And by 2035, our learning in institutes like IITs, IIMs will be Nehru's. Multiple multidisciplinary education and research in universities. Yes. Now they have also stated that these Nehru's will take or will be mentors to autonomous colleges and yes. autonomous colleges in turn will percolate down the, the same thing down the line yes. to our colleges as well. Yes. Yes. And by 2040, the government expects that the entire um, towns and small towns and villages will also have such standalone institutes. Yes. In that, to that end, we would request, as our as a college now affiliated to a university, we would request your support and your mentorship as a Meru to BC Roy Engineering College so that they can attain. Autonomous college status. Will you help? Yes. Actually, the main point is that uh, this actually is not the question of we can we should do it together. Like you know that your ideas are no less than IIT Kharagpur professors or anybody. I don't consider anybody. So it's just that you are in some college and we are in another another college. We can do it together. Like you know that what your concept of autonomy comes when we have the authority and the responsibility and everything is ours. Like you know that we give a degree. For example, even today, I'll just give you an example. The thesis that we submit at IIT Kharagpur goes abroad for evaluation. Now tell me, Dr. Kali, that why is it necessary that a foreigner will say this is good enough thesis and it can be given a PhD. Why can't IIT Kharagpur professors in a committee can state that it is good enough? Can you tell me that? Because we are simply not objective. We do not trust ourselves because we believe that if my student submits it, the other committee members will be just too scared of me and will say yes. If it goes anywhere in India, I will influence. Hello, hello, Mr. Das. Hello, hello, Mr. Bhattacharya. This is my student. Will you pass it quickly? Because we are not objective. So there lies our problem with our character. And that is the reason we have to be subservient to the foreign countries and we need a foreign evaluation. We are simply not good enough. So autonomy means good enough psychologically, spiritually, that we will be so tough and we will be so objective that no matter if somebody else comes from abroad or something, he will say it's good. Can we become that? So autonomy doesn't mean an intellectual pursuit. It also means some kind of a mental and the spiritual pursuit also that we will be invincible. We will be doing the things right. So that's also something that how to become an objective that your college will become autonomy when you will take responsibility for its implementation for an everything. So it is not only the development of the courses, because the intellectual thing, the course has to be improved. This is, this topic has to be improved. I consider that to be a low level of job. That can always be done. But there is a far you know job which is above that. So that's very important. And what I tell you is that you are called, I have already told my, uh, when I took permission to speak to you, I moved the file and I have also told verbally to the director that, uh, you know, that that college is very good and etc. And we have to take some college under our mentorship. So why not that college? So you can always shoot a letter uh, to him that uh, Dr. Choudhury spoke to us and not don't tell that he suggested that you should be. And we believe that we know many people in IIT Kharagpur, many professors, and we have got links, and we will request you to consider including our college under your umbrella of mentorship so that we can directly benefit and we can progress together. Like that, you can always write a letter to him. And uh, not only that, that letter actually will go to him, write a, not an email, like uh, always a 
you know, written letter is always good. It will be on his desk. And then give him a reminder after every one month or every two months, sir, we wrote you a letter, but we have not received any reply. Will you take us and etc. Like so that okay. way he can always pursue. We will go, go the formal route first place, but then uh, the director may or may not be uh, positive about it. In that case, uh, can we expect your influence? No, no, no. Actually, what happens? that everybody in this world has a role to play, Dr. Kali, that uh, you know that you have to distinguish between Karta, Karan, uh, you know, infrastructure, the efforts, and the EB. You know that there are five things required for the successful completion of any job. Karta is the one who decides, and he decides, and we only implement it. So, uh, you know that your persistence uh, because director decides so if you write a mail it will certainly click that it will be there i don't personally believe that there has to be any geographical boundaries that just because you are in the vicinity of nit nit should take you and iit kharagpur is not something like that it can be remotely also adopted so but government has not come out with any rules as such uh, that how this mentorship will be, uh, umbrella will be created. You know, the government is still under the discussions. And I can tell you that IIT Kharagpur is also not that fast in starting and get down to implement it in the real sense of the term. In fact, uh, I find that you can do much better. So you will be completely, you will be writing a mail to IIT Kharagpur and then gear up and brainstorm and advance yourself. And you see that I will compare it with one thing that if you consider IIT Kharagpur as your guru and you are the disciple, I can tell you that any interaction between guru and shishya, shishya is always superior. You know that? Why I tell you that? Because suppose there is a library, big library is there. Only a very few go there and learn from that library. So who is greater? The library is greater or the reader who goes there and makes himself knowledgeable is greater. So you are great when you brainstorm and when you offer myself, we want to get the mentorship, you always win. So keep, keep it up and one day it will happen. But what is important for you is that not exactly the look for a mentor. When you grow up, the mentor will automatically arrive in front of you. So you start brainstorming and asking yourself where you can change. Remember one thing, everything has to change. The way of doing, way of thinking, way of saying, way of writing, way of teaching, way of delivering, everything. The way that you give the projects also has to change. For example, the BTEC project somebody will be doing in the final year. Why it will be given in the final year? You should give it in the first year. You, a student has to be told in the first year itself that you think what will be your project so that it can be a product at the end. Start thinking from the first year. Why? Because suppose he starts thinking that I want to make this product. Then he will be thinking, okay, it needs mechanical machining. So he will learn about machining. It needs an electronic component. He will learn about electronic. So it will need a power supply. So you'll read about electricity. So he will be learning so that he can make a good thing. So the student is no less. I have a strong belief. And remember that this country will be having, by 2030, will be having 50% of our population below the age of 25 and about 60, 65% population below the age of 30 will have a huge youth population. And you have to have trust in your students. And ment is counseling of the students, particularly the junior students, should be done also by the senior students. Your dean of student affairs or whoever is in charge of the students 
should start training the the senior students so that this knowledge is cascaded down to the junior most uh, you know student level that's another important thing that we have we have to we have to do cascading of the knowledge that is the knowledge at the top level has to go down goes to down go down that should happen also in the students level that means suppose you take more intelligent students train them psychologically counseling wise whatever wise they and you have to monitor them and at the end you have to also reward them like you know the students will be student leadership so somebody will be giving platinum certificate somebody will be giving you know gold certificate somebody will be giving some kind of you know different kinds of certificate levels as far as their achievements but you have to employ the students also to come up in your nep20 and to come up it's not only the teachers it's not only the non teaching staff it is not only the clerical staff which is also the students so you have to employ full force to teach others they are no less so the projects also should be given from the first year so that they start contemplating and building himself up like you know that the the subjects that you teach has to be come up in the plug in modules you know the plug in modules okay suppose you are buying a computer what do you do take ram extra ram and right? suppose you want to improve the hard disk so take this much of hard disk extra additional add this feature add that feature that's how the computer grows there's a basic computer like that in your college curriculum also there will be a very skeleton curriculum and you have to create a plug in module this plug in module will be maximum 2 to 3 subjects which they will be plugged in so a student will be told that you take this plug in module and add it to up so that will be all elective subjects so like that according to his project he will be choosing his plug in module so that he can grow into somebody who is great and that could be any kind of plug in modules iit kharagpur and suggesting that the plug in modules could be also in kinds of fine arts like somebody will be plug in module of fine arts photography and dancing for example now at the moment you are thinking that what relation it has got with an engineering college and you know that that meru or that the multi purpose that uh, universities will be doing precisely that we have to do everything and the reason is that that you never know that how a student will grow up in the later of his life how do you know that he will not be taking videography as his profession in the in the future it can happen anything can happen so you have to allow him to take the plug in module so that he can grow up and you claim that to be his strength like you know that he grows up into a, a mechanical engineer and then he says that i have got this logic and then management and this english education as my plug in module maybe that he will get a better job so this plug in concepts are going to come and that will be you know that will be deciding how he will be executing his project so there has to be an entirely a new concept you have to bring in and you have to brainstorm in that and when you brainstorm and become a what the disciple mentor will be there in front of you that's what my understanding thank you kanjan thank you, thank you yes. very much any, any other questions? questions any more questions from the participants please yeah yeah please come don't hesitate participants are welcome to question him he is ready to answer <laughs> to the ability why the director and the administrative officer don't even ask why not you are no less uh, very good afternoon yes, sir kanjan sir uh, Uh, so may I ask a, a very uh, a simple Please. question? You talked about competency mapping. You said that uh, a person who is a faculty could also have some other traits, Please. some other quality uh, that could be harnessed for the benefit of the organization as well as for the benefit of that person. Yes. Uh, so, sir, such competency mapping, uh, if I may phrase it like that, uh, does one uh, have to do it oneself or will uh, somebody from the organization also help out uh, in case we are unable to understand what value uh, creation we can 
uh, be part of apart from our assigned roles that's a very good question you know sunita why i tell you is that there is a very likelihood that you don't know who you are that's that's always happens you know because yes. unknown to you you have certain traits you never thought that that's important and the world will tell you what is sunita you are great in that why don't you do that you know it happens because sometimes you know you do things uh, there is in psychology there is a word called flow you know yes. the flow means in positive psychology there is called flow what is this flow flow actually in our vedic uh, concept it comes that we had all had previous lives you know the chitta vritti we are born with and because of the birth we like to do something and we don't like to do something very much yes. so you see that somebody is a born dancer somebody is a born musician it doesn't happen just like that it's not a chance because there are people always come back you know life after life so there what what happens you know i have found i personally believe this that in the college you have to choose some people who will be requested to come up and come impartially with discovering something which is beyond the professional responsibility yes and they will have to come up and to do it and as i said that individual aspiration institutional aspiration and national aspiration has to come online yes. how great it will be sunita when you see that your interest is helping the nation will you not feel great i'll be excited sir extremely yes. excited actually you know something called i learned uh, many many years ago about tqm total quality management yes sir somebody is laying the bricks he is asked sir what you are doing it he says that i am laying the bricks the second person is that what you are doing is i am laying the bricks to build a wall the third person says i am laying bricks to build a wall which will be part of a big temple Mm-hmm. Now the third person is likely to do the work best because he yes. knows the global he perspective. He can see the whole picture. He sees the whole thing. So it is our requirement that we show a person the whole thing. How is he contributing to the nation building? How is yes. he contributing to it? Instead of just making our money, you know, making getting a salary and doing our job, everybody, every youth, particularly you know, younger a person is, he always likes to contribute and show that yes. get satisfaction you know which is called in sanskrit kritakritata that means yes. you get a satisfaction you feel that you have become poor now you have become wholesome so i believe that instead of assessing himself he submits himself to others and says i find out what i have and what i don't have accept what you don't have i have found a very knowledgeable professor in iit she tells me that i contribute i want to talk there so i say you can so you can do your dear and uh, then i went to youtube and i find that she is talking you won't believe that while lecturing there is not a bit of smile on the face she is not laughing really brave and all then i on the youtube i see the comments below you know it is a that npitel lecture yes sir comments are coming ma'am can't you smile ma'am why are you so grave ma'am please no positive energy now that lady doesn't know that that's the problem she is knowledgeable she is a good researcher yes. she does well but a small problem of that she doesn't smile and give a positive things is so detrimental is it not exactly so, the many of us don't know that what is the positive qualities in us and we also do not know what's negative about us so yes. if somebody else if we are humble enough to accept while yes. when others tell us about it we can always start improving and remember yes. that improvement comes you can you have to make guru to anybody you know i have a smartphone now i didn't have that 2 years ago one of my research scholar whom i said that bhai तुमसे नहीं होगा रिसर्च तुम छोड़ो वो तो बोलेगा सर ठीक है हम छोड़ देता हूँ बट आई है डिजायर बिफोर आई लीव क्या है सर आई वॉन्ट टू मेक यू स्मार्ट तो बोला दे क्या है सर यू आर यू हैव टू गिव अप दिस फोन एंड बिकम ए टेक ए स्मार्ट फोन 
I said, I will take it, but will you teach me? Well, uh -huh. He was very good in IT. So then he taught me that how to use the smartphone, how to use the mails there, how to use WhatsApp, the Facebook on this one. Now I have become smart. Wow. Who, who taught me this? Yeah. Somebody who finished his research, yes. No, couldn't finish his research, but he had got aptitude in that IT. Exactly, exactly. And you know that he became my guru. He was my guru. So my guru can be of any age. Anybody right. can be my guru. Whoever right. knows is my guru. So if you think that, everything is blissful, no problems. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much. Okay, welcome. Sir, uh, a question uh, someone has asked you uh, over a mail. Yes, yes. Let me Sarma, can you ask him, please? What do you want? No, he has no. Let me read it because he has already read it. Uh, what is the freedom of expression? It, it just popped up when they were doing it. Okay, can you can you ask me this question? What is the freedom of work? You mean? Uh, can you can you unmute and ask me that question? Mr. Pratap Sharma, please. Hello, Pratap ji. So he could be having some connectivity issues. I, yeah, his microphone, his microphone is not microphone responding. Is not responding. Yeah. Can, you, can you read the message? I'm not able to. OK, I am reading this. Pratap oh. says, sir, how do you rate the freedom of work in context hmm. with the development of the institute? Yes, actually, uh, yes, very good question, Pratap. The, you see that the freedom uh, is a very, very, um, you know, it's a very difficult uh, term because uh, you see what is called the freedom. Freedom is suppose I, I am in Kharagpur and I want to go to Calcutta. So there, uh, Freedom means whatever the, uh, I have been told that you go to Calcutta by a local train. Okay. Or he says that uh, you, you have to choose train to go there. So I have got two choices. I can take a local train. I can take an express train. Okay. So that's my freedom. But going to Calcutta is not my freedom. That you have to understand. So... Choosing local train and express train, fine. When I get onto the local train, the compartment that I will be choosing is my freedom. So the, in our life, we are not with absolute freedom. We are with relative freedom. That means freedom with limitations. When you are driving, you have the freedom to go in a lane. If you are, do not have the freedom to go from suddenly from one lane to another lane, because you have the freedom to increase or decrease speed within your lane, you cannot go out of the road. That's not within your freedom. So you understand that an institute has to contribute to the nation building in 10 different ways. You have to choose your freedom within those 10 ways and start contribute. That's what the, my understanding about freedom is. And you have to deal with the institute in the way you will deliver in those particular fields. I don't know whether I've answered your question, Mr. Dr. Chaudhary, Dr. Chaudhary, one more question from one of your namesake, Dr. Kanchan Chatterjee of Mechanical yes, Engineering. Please take this question. Dr. Mm -hmm. Kanchan Chatterjee. Please ask me. Dr. Kanchan Chatterjee, please. Dr. Kanchan Chatterjee, are you there? Your microphone is not working. Switch it on. Unmute. Unmute. Yes, yes, yes. I am. I am. Uh, yes. Uh, please, please tell me. Dr. Kanchan Chatterjee, you raise your hand. You must be having a question. No, I can hear him. You just no, no, have to no, no. speak with him. Actually, actually, uh, um, I, I, I haven't uh, any question at this moment. 
but you raised your hand no probably actually by placing the uh, yeah. smartphone from my hand to table uh, okay, that okay. okay thank you any more questions from anyone sir uh, uh, i am orijit benerji from mechanical engineering department uh, uh, of this college uh, i have a question uh, yes, that uh, you have pointed out about the five uh, parameters for success uh that is uh, odishtan karta koron uh, chesta ebong doibo yeah, and doibo so means uh, how to properly understand what are the means in which aspect uh, which is happening means uh, how to identify if you can guide uh, actually what happens that uh, you see that karta means one who desires that this should happen he is the karta now this karta means one who desires that this job be done like god said let there be light so there was light so god is the karta so here what happens that suppose you have got the owner of that college now he is the karta and then the director becomes a karan but when if the responsibility comes on the director to deliver then director becomes a karta and all of us become the karan so you have to understand your role as karta or karan that means suppose in your family you are the karta rest are karan but you are also doing sometimes at the karan when you are going to the market with a bag then you are a karan but if that is directed by your wife then your wife becomes karta and you become karan so that role you have to understand that what are you now suppose your wife has told you that you bring this you know uh, bhindi and you bring this one you think that no 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 i will bring something else then you have forgotten the role of whether you are karta or karan you must not confuse now when you are becoming a karan then you must do it to the best of your ability remember that the karan when you are you are chosen only you are like you are worthy for it the institute will choose you when you have grown yourself to be the ideal person to be entrusted with i always gave a, give a problem of that when you know indrajit shot uh, uh, lakshman and lakshman was fainted at that time you know that shushan boddo was called by by whom by at the advice of division shushan boddo was called Susan Boydo was actually Ravan's uh, doctor, hmm. but he he was called and he gave advice that Bishala Karani has to be brought. Now you can say Ravan Ram whenever he entrusted the job of advising to his advisers, his advisers were four or five of them. Shubhri was there, Jamuban was there, Onuman was there, and Vivishan and etc. Okay, Angad. Then, when the advisor says that Shushan Bhutta has to be called, Ram should not put his leg there. No, no, no. He is, belongs to the enemy camp. When your advisor has a trust, believe them. So, Bhutta should know when to take off. Karan should know when when he should take on. Okay. So, these are the ways this shloka tells us how to identify your role. Next. that when hanuman was told that go there why hanuman was chosen because he was worthy for that so make yourself worthy lagao your skill up your knowledge up your abilities up your attitude up so that people choose you as the karan get yourself ready and the world will always choose you don't worry about being chosen don't run after the work make yourself worthy make people know and sit tight the work will come in front of you that's the way that the current should work next you need the infrastructure so yaar you have to be given the power to do it you have to given that suppose you are going somewhere you have to be given the facility of train you have to given the administrative support even the rules that the institute promulgates is a part of the infrastructure otherwise it will confuse you okay na so i consider that the rules 
simple rules that the institute should provide uncomplicated understandable rules is also part of infrastructure the fourth comes chesta you have to try and try in the different ways to achieve your goal don't worry there is there is success and failure is only the distortion of the mind there is nothing called success and failure in life nothing success and failure comes when arjit thinks i have to become a director but you think you have to become a director when you are worthy for that the world will call you arjit can you come and please take the directorship of that institution that's what it should be why you should aspire to become somebody or some something so that's the problem with us and that's why we define success or failure because you want to get become somebody you want to do something do your work and the result will follow and the last is that baby and baby is something which is that who decides whether you will get it or not people don't believe it but there is a great strength in prayer the buddhists do the praying the christians do the prayer the muslims should do the prayer and everybody of us should do the prayer in order to attain the objective of life so these are the five things so uh, understand your role who are you at this moment Uh, thank you, sir. Actually, and finally, uh, sir. one last question, please. One last no, question uh, from. Uh, uh, okay, Orijit. Okay, Orijit had to add a small rejoinder. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. Orijit, go actually, ahead. Actually, uh, actually, sir. Uh, finally, uh, Chesta and Doibo uh, means uh, we will continuously uh, going on trying and trying, and that is uh, actually from our positivity, uh, and and we should keep up uh, being positive. Uh, finally then uh, if something is not happening uh, uh, that should we uh, just uh, give the means uh, excuse that this is daibo or uh, means uh, means keep on trying means uh, there is a daibo but uh, how to accept that this is happening due to daibo or this is lack of my testament means this is from pure understanding of the self no, no. or for example i will tell you i uh, me and my research student was trying to publish a paper and it has been rejected by at least four journals but every time i found that the problem is with us the problem is with not with the journal would you believe it the reason is that that we are not explaining it properly and the journal its rejection is not the problem of the world the problem is always with us problem of any non happening please believe me 100% is with us it is not the world remains as they were i have not been able to publish it it is my problem think that way and you improve and you improve and you improve every time you improve look at it in a different way go to others and tell and i have found that any time i did not become successful the problem is mine the problem is not in the world once you start thinking that way that's called the ultimate you will never fail because how does it matter if it is rejected 10 times what you are doing with it why do you want success right you tell me one thing why do you want success you are getting your salary aren't you getting it yes you want success because you want to bolster your ego you are ahankari you want to feed your ahankar that's why you want to become success anabol i want to become success because i want to upload in the facebook ye bana ye bana facebook ko update karna hai why why do i why do i have to proclaim it every time you know i have to show somebody or the thing i have to prove to the world that i am somebody why do i have to prove to somebody why i am not confident enough that i am what i am i can do what i can do why can't i think it i want to prove to the world dekho main kitna great hu this is my problem and that's why i want to become successful nothing else why do i have to become successful i only have to try i have but in a different way intelligently not a gissa way of course yeah. that's all okay one one last question dr choudhury yes, 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 somebody, yes, yes. somebody was trying to ask a yeah question. professor abhijit banerji has raised his yes, hand yes, yes. Okay, Any uh, Anindita or somebody? One lady was uh, unmuted. No, 
अभिजीत बनर्जी हैज रेज्ड हिज हैंड आल्सो अभिजीत कैन यू कैन यू गो अहेड वेयर यस यस प्लीज 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 आस प्लीज आस कैन यू गो अहेड यू आर अनम जस्ट टू अनम्यूट यस 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 सर एम आई ऑडिबल प्रोफेस Abhijit, you are not audible in the middle. Audible Can you? Is better now. Is I said in the beginning, sir. Sir, in my limited interaction with the universities, I found out that the. No, it's getting distracted. Some has to create. NEP has any proper. Does NEP has any provision for nullifying this validation process? Doctor Kali, I am not audible now. Abhijit, you are cutting out. You are cutting out. Okay, sir. Can you understand this question, Doctor Kali, and then re-articulate to me? Abhijit, you are cutting out. Can you can you send it via text, please? Yeah, yeah, I will do that. Please send it via text. Yeah, I will do that. I will do that. Ah, uh, bolo. Anybody else? I think Dev Kanta Chaudhary had also raised a question. Uh, yes, actually, I have a question. Ah, uh. yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. First of all, thank you very much for your holistic holistic view on. or your psych uh, philosophical and holistic view on everything and your holistic answers i really liked it and really appreciate everything i have a uh, i have a question like uh, so basically my background is very interdisciplinary even though i am in computer science department here but my uh, my background and my uh, like my research area and everything is very interdisciplinary in nature and going with that interdisciplinary nature of the of my research and also the whole world right now Uh, my question is like at this uh, at the current uh, like in this current world actually can we have one or two one major from one department such as like uh, some students are taking one major from maybe mechanical engineering and maybe one japanese or music or psychology or even philosophy for example from another department completely different department uh, i'm sure it is done in other countries like in usa uk and other countries But I'm not sure whether it is very well done in India, even in IITs or IISC, or I'm I'm not sure. So my question is whether NEP 2020 has such provision where, like, we can have you know such like variedly different you know or very diverse kind of major and minors from two or three uh, kind of very different different apparently different yeah. persons, even though nothing is very different from one another. I really. think everything is very you know connected mm. and very congruent yeah. but yeah so does nep 2020 has this kind of provision yeah. or actually, it doesn't have what can we do to have this yeah. kind of thing? actually they've done the 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 problem is that that nep gives us a lot of flexibility to do these things whatever you have suggested but it would be done to the extent that people can imagine it can be done why i say this because we are bogged down with our accumulated ideas of life ye nahi hota hai ye hota tha nahi and you know we always refer to the past ye kaisa hoga so even what you are telling is not only is doable and it should be done mera matlab hai suppose you are doing something on computer science or mechanical and you want to take something on music and fine arts and dancing now you are saying are yaar if you have this to tumko naukri nahi milega milega to nahi aapka what happens to you i have done the requisite credit 
and if i have accumulated the credit once i reach that credit limit you will give me a degree you don't want to give me a mechanical degree don't give me give me an interdisciplinary degree give me just bachelor of engineering the hell with your mechanical or chemical i don't want that within the bracket you write interdisciplinary but you allow me to get a degree not only that nep is now telling what you know that suppose there is a four year course you should be allowed if somebody wants to exit after two years says that i can't pursue it i have to go for a job he will get a degree and take an exit it could be diploma in engineer and if somebody wants to get out at after three years he will be getting bachelor of engineering and go after four years he will be getting bachelor of engineering honors and will go out but any year he will be he should be able to get out with a degree not that he will be known as a dropout as an year acha then there, you you understand that what is the challenge for us the challenge is that those two years of training should be wholesome to make him effective for the society that's the challenge in evolving the course curriculum my dear it is not just saying that you will be get out after two years it is important for us to see that the total subjects undertaken by that fellow makes him worthy to for that degree or certificate or diploma and also like that that's how the nep is but nep is a manthan in that manthan you know whatever is churned out and finally it will become manthan has started a government will be slowly formulating and you from this era engineering college should be able to give such suggestions to the ministry saying that sir we have done this and this is our suggestion why you cannot give directly to the ministry you tell me that because you must be getting you know mails from aict and something you do something so write to the aict chairman that this is our suggestions concrete suggestions and thus contribute to it and whatever you are saying is doable but finally it will be the national consensus that how the plugins will be done that your plugin is certainly revolutionary and doable also and i'm sure that that should be done and that may be done that will be done but i can't give you the guarantee because again i am not the karta finally karta will take over when the currents cease to play okay dr chaudhary one more question from abhijit banerjee he has given it in text can i read the text yes please abhijit banerjee's question is do nep 2020 does nep 2020 have any provision of nullifying effect of white validation where almost all indian researchers works need to be validated by a foreign expert uh, does nep 2020 has the provision of nullifying nullifying effect of white validation effect of white validation effect within, of white validation uh, within inverted comma he said white validation i hope he means about the foreign experts reviewers reviewing oh, uh, oh, the thesis oh, okay okay white validation all indian researchers works need to be validated by a foreign expert ha ah, ha no 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 there is no such uh, i have not seen anything like that but uh, actually it is not the white it is a foreigner and it could be black or colored also there is nothing called white but uh, somebody that we always believe that foreigners are more objective and cutthroat and very objective than us you have seen that um, it should they are faceless so um, so we have to get a trust on somebody else uh than ours and in fact uh, this is this is something very natural you see that my children will be listening to the teacher more than the father you see that that's a natural so who has told the teacher has told they will not believe their parents the parents will be the second one so sometimes you know that we we never believe in ourselves But what foreign countries do is that they have a council. In that council, even the neighboring institutes are kept people, and they will be evaluating. So we have to be slowly become more objective in evaluation. Then, of course, but we have to 
build up on the strength of character not to succumb to it i can give you some examples that um, concrete examples that uh, that very unfortunate thing also happened at iit you know suppose that i am in a doctoral scrutiny committee a colleague of mine is the supervisor the student is going to submit a thesis i take the copy of the thesis as the dsc member and i lagao it on the eternity and find out it is a plagiarized thesis suppose now what do i do normally the iit ka jo hal hai ya are bhai whatever the supervisor does let him do but a real objective person will say no i cannot i cannot allow that because it is the you know the reputation of iit is at stake what should i do and that decision requires a strength of character now suppose i i raise a red flag this is a plagiarized thesis write a mail to the head head ignores it don't meddle supervisor has okayed it let it go i write a mail to the dean the dean sets up a committee and finds out it is really plagiarized dropped what happens to me do you know what happens to me you know that my colleagues why caught me they don't involve me in any of their doctors to make up the members this is what our country is our country has to get over this weakness of characters it's not easy to be objective my dear it is not without any reason that we send our thesis abroad it happens it happens because we always tend to take shortcuts whatever our age whatever our positions we do not want long cuts and whatever i have told you is a piece of reality it happens can you do that can you say that i will do whatever i should do moral morally which is correct i don't care if the whole world boycotts me can you say that is a big red debate at the point now you will say i need protection from the authorities why do you need protection why can't you say that i will do whatever i should do the hell with the world the moment we can say that everything will fall in place you don't have to send the thesis abroad so that's why the question is that white lie or whatever you are saying why we need that we have to build up the strength of character don't forget we come from the race of the battle of palasi when mirzafar sat there our history of the last 1000 years is not that glorifying my dear thank you very much thank you thank you dr choudhury it has been a very enriching experience for all of us and i on behalf of all my colleagues thank you from the bottom of my heart and thank i'll talk to you i'll talk to you over phone in a few more okay. minutes okay it is very nice and very i want to see you in person i have been to durgapur your college before and enjoyed your hospitality and i want to do that in the future when everything becomes normal it's a new normal please come over <laughs> <laughs> okay okay thank you very much thank you really thank, thank you so much sir thank you thank you thank you thank you, thank you very much thank you bye thank you bye sir okay adio thank you very much okay, thank, thank you. you it was so nice talking to you all oh, thank, thank you thank you sir thank you sir thank you have a nice day sir yes sir